of a numerical on the basis of design of spur gears for the given conditions. The problem statement is in front of you. We have to design a pair of spur gears which will be having a 20 degree full depth involute system based on the Lewis equation. The velocity factor is to be considered when we want to calculate the dynamic load. The power which is transmitted is 10 kilowatt at 1440 rpm. Then the uh, value of service factor is 1.5 because starting torque is 150% of the rated torque. Speed reduction is 4 as to 1. Pinion and gear they are made up of the same material plain carbon steel having SUT, uh, SUT uh, 600 Newton per mm square. Factor of safety in the initial design stages can be considered as 1.5. So we are supposed to design the gears as well as now we will need to check for their design safety. So first of all, what we will do is that we will write down the given things. Yes. So first of all, we will start putting down the given things which are uh, mentioned in this problem statement. So first thing which is given is that the pressure angle alpha is 20 degree. Then which why this is necessary because this will help us to define the number of teeth then velocity factor is to be considered so for that purpose we will need the velocity but it has not been given the power which is to be transmitted it has been given as 10 kilowatt the rpm at which the pinion pinion is rotating it is 1440 and then starting torque of the motor is 150 percent of the rated torque so cs it is equal to 150 percent of the rated torque which is 100 so ultimately cs becomes 1.5 because our rated torque is considered as the basis 100 percent speed reduction i is equal to 4 as to 1 so it is 4 upon 1 we know that this is equal to number of teeth on gear divided by number of teeth on pinion so both the pinion and gear are made up of the same material also one thing which is given with reference to this that SUT is equal to 600 mega pascal this will be necessary because on the basis of this we can immediately calculate sigma b which will be equal to SUT by 3 so we get the value of sigma b from here it will be 200 mega pascal so uh, then the factor of safety which is to be considered fs it is equal to 1.5 now these things are sorted now we will have to proceed with the design process so i will just put the mark here that these are the given things in this section and now we will have to go for the design solution so the first observation that we have made or we should make is that both pinion and gear one second yes both pinion and gear they are made up of the same material so because of this inherently by design process pinion will be the weaker element this is something that we should understand immediately so our design will be based on the design of pinion because if we uh, consider the design on the basis of gear then pinion will fail early on the other hand, if we design everything on the basis of pinion, then none of the elements uh, it, uh, it will fail. So, for 20 degree full depth involute system, we observe that number of teeth has not been mentioned. So, begin with the so to begin with the design, we can consider the number of teeth minimum number of teeth on the pinion to be 18. This will be safe for the design. Then we can use the value of speed reduction ratio i which is 4 by 1 which is also equal to zg by zp to determine the number of teeth on gear so it implies that the 4 as to 1 is equal to number of teeth on gear divided by 18 that you have considered so ultimately it tells you that number of teeth on gear it is equal to 72 this is first outcome that you need now they have asked us to specify the dimensions of gear which means we will need to specify the module the face width the bead circle diameters of pinion and gear but right now module has not been mentioned so module has not been mentioned 
So we will have to check for the value of module on the basis of beam strength. So uh, the formula for the same is already available with us. Just a second. Yes. So the module on the basis of beam strength, it will be equal to 60 into 10 raised to 6 divided by pi. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is the autocorrect feature, I think. So 60 into 10 raised to 6 divided by pi multiplied by kw into cs into fs divided by zp. Remember, in the formula, we have written zn, but here we are writing zp np because we are designing uh, the module or we are calculating the module on the basis of pinion, the weaker element, so it will be zp. Then np, after that, what we have is CV, then B by M ratio, and then I should directly write Sigma B instead of SUT by 3, and then capital Y, which is the Lewis form factor. So now we have all of these elements, and we will take cube root of this entire bracket. So to solve this bracket, to determine this module, we will need to check out what exactly we have right now. So we have kilowatt power, we have CS, we have FS. We have number of teeth on pinion, we have RPM of pinion, but as of now, we do not uh, we do not have this velocity factor. We have B by M ratio. We can easily consider that the face width will be equal to 10 times module. So because of this, B by M ratio becomes 10. So B by M is already available. Then Sigma B is already available in the given things, but value of Lewis form factor is not available that we will have to obtain. So we will need CV and Y. So once we obtain that, we will get the module. Then our entire design process will be simplified. So we will proceed towards this. So to calculate the velocity factor, we know that velocity factor depends on the gear velocity. Now here, the pitch line velocity, it has not been mentioned. We could have calculated that. Remember the pitch line velocity, see, the relation is that if you want CV, you need V. And if you need V, the V can be calculated as pi dn upon 60 into 10 raised to 3. So we could have calculated it as pi dp np upon 60 into 10 raised to 3. But even though we have this np, but we do not have this dp, the peak circle diameter or d dash p, the peak circle diameter of pinion. That is why we need to assume the velocity in the initial stages of design. So instead of going for uh, this, we will assume the velocity because we do not uh, have uh, the diameter. So let the velocity is, one second. So let the velocity in the initial stages of design for this arrangement is, I'm sorry, is five meter per second. It's not necessary that you should consider it only 5 meter per second. You can also consider it at 10 meter, 20 meter, not a problem. Accordingly, the expression of CV will change. And ultimately, while checking for the design safety, you will automatically uh, arrive at the right value. So we do not need to worry about it. Just for the sake of simplicity, we are taking the value of V as 5 meter per second. So for this range, we know that the value of CV for the, uh, because this is less than 10 meter per second so the value of cv will be 3 upon 3 plus v so that will be equal to 3 upon 3 plus 5 so that will give you 3 upon 8 this is the value of cv okay so now cv has also been obtained the only thing which is remaining to be obtained is y so for y we will need to determine on the basis of number of teeth on pinion from the standard data table. So the standard data table is available here. We can see that, just give me a second. Hmm. So we can see that uh, there are number of teeth in one column and Lewis form factor value in the next column for a 20 degree full depth involute system. So right now we have considered number of teeth on pinion ZP as 18. Corresponding to that, the value of y is equal to 0 0.308. If the value would have been, let us say, 72, if the gear would have been weak, the weak element, then we would have interpolated the value between 0 0.429 and 0 0.433.
right now fortunately for 18 number of teeth directly we can pick up 0 0.308 so once again let me just clarify this on the basis of number of teeth we can directly select the value of Lewis form factor 0 0.308 so why on the basis of zp equal to 18 the value of y is equal to 0 0.308 so now the last parameter unknown parameter in the equation of module is also identified now uh, we can directly uh, calculate the value of module so now let me just put down the values this is the practice that uh, you should always follow the formula value and then answer so so that uh, there is no doubt in the mind of examiner about the authenticity of your attempt so module m it will be equal to 60 into 10 raised to 6 divided by pi multiplied by i'm sorry into 10 raised to 6 divided by pi multiplied by kw which is 10 kw which is to be transmitted oh i think this is the pain key arrangement working okay kw into cs it is 1.5 factor of safety is 1.5 divided by zp which is 18 np which is known to us 1440 then cv so cv is 3 by 8 please be careful when you are putting these values in your calculator so then the b by m ratio directly we can take it 10 the value of sut by 3 sigma b it is equal to 200 the value of capital y it will be 0 0.308 so you please put all of these values in the calculator and the answer approximately where you will arrive considering the uh, a difference of decimal places somebody might put 3 by 8 as it is or somebody might calculate the value of 3 by 8 separately and then put that value in this expression so it depends on individual i will suggest you directly put it let the calculator work for you save your time so the value of module that you arrive at is approximately 4.16 mm there might be some difference in the decimal places like i said so i'm sorry i don't know which key i'm pressing wrongly so the value of module is right now available to us 4.16 mm so this is some arbitrary value so we'll have to go for the next preferred value so the next preferred value that we will go for of this module it will be equal to 5 mm so now the module has been defined as 5 mm on the basis of this now we are able to calculate the various entities because we know the relationship between them so the thing that we are more concerned about is the dimension of gears so the dimensions of gears this has been asked specifically in the problem so dimensions of gears so in this case the module is already available 5 mm so the face width it can be immediately calculated as 10 times module so 10 multiplied by 5 so 50 mm is the face width then the next thing is pitch circle diameter of pinion so that will be d dash p which is equal to m z p so m module is 5 mm z p is 18 so 18 into 5 90 mm is the value of pitch circle diameter of pinion and then the value of pitch circle diameter of gear i'm sorry this is i think auto correcting okay so d dash g is equal to m z g it is equal to 5 into 72 which is number of teeth on gear so that gives you 360 mm so we have solved the first part that we have specified the dimensions we have found out the module on the basis of beam strength we have used lewis form factor to arrive up to this point the second part of this problem is to check for the uh, design safety as well as to find out the hardness let me just recollect the problem yes so the first part was the design uh, of gears 
specifying their dimensions but we will also need to check whether the design is correct or not and also suggest a suitable hardness which means after completing the design on the basis of beam strength we will also have to verify the design on the basis of wear strength that we will see in the next uh, uh, next video of this same problem thank you